Hi, Mary Morrissey here, best-selling author, founder of Life Mastery Institute. Over the many years of my study and transformation, I have sought to bring the principles and the practices of the great religions, the ancient philosophies, the modern sciences and psychology together and pull from those the things that I saw produce the best results for me and my clients. And one of the practices that happens all over our globe right now as we're heading into the Jewish New Year, this wonderful 10-day period of Rosh Hashanah ending in Yom Kippur, can really bring benefit to every single one of us no matter what our tradition or practice is. And for me over the years and working with friends of mine who are Jewish and asking them to help me understand the deeper meanings and the mystical understandings of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the idea that we could spend 10 days really reflecting on our life. We could, first part of that in the Rosh Hashanah um, practice as I've employed it is a reflection on my agreements, where I'm in alignment with my agreements I've made with others, with myself, the contracts I've entered into, whether they were legal contracts, am I in alignment with those legal contracts, or more emotional contracts, friendship contracts, the promise to be a great friend. How have I been showing up in my friendship? Have, have I, my friendships, have I really leaned into being the person I wanted to be in my friendships over this last year? Have I been with my, the people who work for me and with me in my business? Have I, have I really lived into being the person I meant to be with the people I'm working with? All of these ways of just reviewing and, re and reflecting on ourself in our journey of life, a really healthy, honest reflection. I even, I promised myself I'd clean the garage and every time I pass the garage I go, oh, I haven't kept that agreement with myself because every place in us there's an unmet commitment. There's an unlived into agreement becomes a leak in our energy because our conscious mind may not remember that we've made that agreement and we're not living into it, but our unconscious, our subconscious knows exactly. And so there's this inner dissonance that begins to build. There's this sense of not feeling as alive and awake because part of us is busy trying to get us to solve the thing we said we were gonna do, but we haven't lived into. And so these little leaks in our energy are occurring. And the power of having once a year where we give ourselves time, maybe a period of time every single day, even 10 or 15 minutes where you actually reflect, make note on the agreements you made if you're a spouse to live into a marriage agreement where love and care and respect are the order of the day, not just now and then. That there's the conscious giving to build and grow that relationship into its next yet better best of what it can be. What about the agreement I made to be a mom, or a daughter, or a sister, or a friend, or a coworker, or an owner? All the different agreements we make, and where am I on the spectrum of what I really meant to be when I made that agreement and who I can become? And then as we either keep the agreements we've made, renegotiate the contracts or agreement we've made, so that as we begin and join with our Jewish brothers and sisters in this new year beginning, as we move into the 10th day, we've now rearranged our relationship to our agreements, our relationship to our contracts, our relationship to ourselves. And then as we go into this 10th day, Yom Kippur, which is known as the Day of Atonement. And for me, the word atonement means at one meant. There's no longer that dissonance in me. I've now got a clear set of new agreements, a clear set of contracts that are right for who I've become and what's the next stage of this next year of my own becoming. It's a fresh start, not just because a calendar date says the date. It's a fresh start because I'm new and I'm clean with the agreements I've made and I really am ready now for this whole next year of growing into who I can be. I believe that this tradition, this ancient tradition has power. It has power not only because it's in the tradition, it has power because it works. So I invite you to join in this wonderful practice, experiment with it, and then notice what happens for you in the whole new beginning of your new year. Happy Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur.